Hi guys, I hope you'll be fine. Today I want to say a secret. How we get a real rendering. Maybe it is a big dream for any CG artist to achieve a real rendering. I wanted to share my experience with you. If I be honest with you, a real renderer is depend on many factors. One of these factors is you should use light and simple and low poly and real models. You should always use real models. You should always use real materials. You shouldn't use any material you can download. You shouldn't use any uh, 3D model. You should always convert all scene to V-Ray or Corona renderer. Because if you use a bad model, it may make conflict in rendering and can increase your rendering time and your render will not be real. If you want to achieve a real render, you should know the science of colors. You should know how to uh, combine the colors together in your scene. You should know how to decorate your scene. You should, move some, you should move some object up or out of scene to get better image. Or you should know the science of photography. You should know how camera works. For example, if I give you the best camera in the world, you couldn't take a nice photo because you are not a photographer. But if I give a very bad phone, not a camera, a photographer can take a nice photo. Even in your actual place, you both in one place, but a photographer can take a better photo than you because he knows how change the position, how view the scene. So a real rendering depends on many factors, not only one or two factor. One of the important things is how you setting the rendering parameters. If you set a false parameters, you know V-Ray or Corona may have more than 100 parameters. If you set false, you can increase your rendering time, but your re rendering will not be real. So you should know the science of rendering parameters. And it takes more than one or two years. If you, you need to read many books, you need to watch many tutorials, and you should spend many time to understand how set the parameters in V-Ray rendering settings. So I recommend you should use V-Ray rendering settings prepared in Azimuth. Many artists in Azimuth Instagram page the address is below. You can visit. Many of artists use Azimuth V-Ray rendering setups to speed up, to boost their rendering settings, to achieve, reduce rendering settings and increase quality. So you don't need set any all of these 100 parameters from scratch for anything. You don't need to spend your time. If you use prepaid V-Ray render settings, it's not false. You should use it. Look, you use prepaid material. You use prepaid models. You don't need to create all of them from scratch in your scene. So you should use prepaid V-Ray settings. It's prepared for interior scenes, exterior scenes, and suitable for all scenes. Just load with one click and press the enter button. Boom! You see the magic. The speed is so fast and rendering quality is so fine. So I recommend you go to blue link and download the best V-Ray settings for rendering in 3D Max and enjoy it.